guys, my name is Joshua Pomenigo and welcome back to another video where I will take the Bible quiz or the Bible trivia quiz. And this Bible quiz is Sabbath Bible quiz or Bible quiz 10. The Christmas one is Bible quiz 9. You getting the connection? If you're not familiar what this quiz is, it's basically a quiz with either multiple choices or true or false choices and this quiz will test your scripture knowledge to make sure that you know the Bible really well. And the number of items are usually 20 items. So yeah, without further ado, let's write our name, Joshua Paul, and let's do this! Number one, in Hebrew, Sabbath means rest. Um, okay. After we start, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Because the commandment about the Sabbath happened when the Israelites fled Egypt, and Israelites are also called Hebrews, so that's probably it. A day with God is a thousand years. Oh, I'm familiar with that question. But is it true? God made his promise of rest that will give to us with no effort on our part. False? Christ has become our Sabbath. Oh. I think he has become our Passover, but not our Sabbath. I'm going to say true just in case. If you follow Christ, we will be under a heavy burden. No. We should fear at the thought of not being able to enter this rest. False. If we have faith or not, with some work, we can still enter his rest. True. If we have faith or not, no, that's false. Some people must enter into God's rest because they don't have a choice. Okay, I'm getting confused what God's rest really means. Yeah. That's aside, I don't really read the Bible that much. But some people must enter in God's rest because they don't have a choice. Probably true. Yeah, true. It's okay for our hearts to be hardened in the eyes of God. Hardened? Yes, God. True? We must labor to enter into God's rest. What kind of labor do you mean? The labor of women when they deliver children? Or a different kind of labor? I'm gonna say false. The word of God is alive and is our judge. True. There are some creatures that can keep some things hidden from God. Um. I think. False. Man was made for the Sabbath. Made for the Sabbath? Christ is proud and lofty in his heart. But I don't know what lofty even means. Can I say true? Wait, false. We can have our Sabbath every day of the week. True. Christ is our Passover. True. There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. True. God's word does not profit some because they don't have faith. False. True. Christ tells us to go to him for a rest. Probably. And last but not least, we should have a circumcision made without hands. Is there even a circumcision made without hands? I don't think so. False. Here we go. This is getting very tiring. It's time to submit my answers and see how many I've gotten wrong. So, oh wait, I just realized this was posted on 1999, January 17. That is 19 years apart. Whatever, submit my answers. Here we go. Okay, score for Joshua Paul, who is uh? score for Joshua Paul, who is loved by God. Okay, I'm getting corrects all over the place. Okay, I have one incorrect, two incorrect, three, uh, f four. I got four wrong. That is amazing. Okay, I'm using a calculator right now. How many do I have? Okay, sixteen divided by twenty. That's eighty percent. Wow! Wow! That's probably near my highest score, which is eighty-five. Wow! Okay, guys, that's all for today's Bible quiz video. I'm not sure if this short or long, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to give this video a like or a big thumbs up. And if you love my video so much that you don't want to miss on any latest videos that I'm going to upload, be sure to subscribe on this channel. And I almost forgot to mention, the link to where you can take this quiz is in the description below. So you can test your scripture knowledge as well. So yeah, that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you all. And goodbye.